So let's take a look at the developer discussion for the Serenity pot. That'll be introduced in 1.5. A few Q&A right over here from the devs. They said, question number one, how can I obtain materials or furnishings? Paimon's done the homework. You can obtain them by cutting down trees, collecting ore or items in Teyvat. For example, you can obtain wood for making furnishings by cutting down trees. Oh man. Also, you can obtain furnishings uh, or furnishing material by increasing Teapot Spirit Trust rank or redeem them at the Realm Depot or Teapot Traveling Salesman. So I'm assuming the highest rank is 10, going off of the trailer that we ended up seeing. Deforest the whole map. Oh man, Minecraft all, all over. Uh, question number two, can I grow vegetables or flowers in the Serena Teapot? Uh, when the developers first started designing the Center Serena Teapot, they had already planned on having a gardening system. And who doesn't love gardening? Amen. Uh, it's proved to be more complex, so the dev you gotta give the devs more uh, time to polish. It will not be available at the start of 1.5, but it'll come in the future. There we go. All right. A little bit of, little bit of Stardew Valley, or maybe Animal Crossing thrown in there. When gardening is available, what can I get from growing plants in Serena Teapot? Can I get more resin, Mora, or Primo gems? Oh, well, you reap what you sow, and Paimon doesn't think Mora grows on trees. Oof. Uh, at the Realm Treasures, travelers can exchange for things like Mora and Hero's Wit. Paimon has seen new things like Sanctifying Essence, and uh, yeah, we don't know what the Sanctifying Essence does. And we also saw something that was a transient resin, I believe, that showed up during the live stream. It said it can be used to upgrade artifacts. Oh, well, if I, could, I guess if I kept reading, uh, upgrade artifacts. I wonder what that means, like XP, that's it. In addition, you can also get new kinds of resin through Realm Treasures. This new resin has the same functionality as the existing resin, only that it will decompose with time. So travelers, don't forget to use them in time. So that's kind of comparing to any other gacha game where you get resin and you have like a week to use it or else it just goes away. Um, okay. Interesting. So I guess prioritize that over your condensed and your fragile. More resin, can't complain about it. Yeah, can't can't complain, I guess. Uh, question number four, can characters that I own be stationed in your abode? I'm pretty sure they're working on this, but it's not implemented yet. Let me see, it says they know the answer. They have seen it in the developer's note in version 1.6. The characters owned by the travelers can be stationed in the surrounded teapot. Cool, you can like move them around and whatever. Uh, Paimon wants a room too. <laughs> Okay, so not in 1.5, 1.6, very quick. Question number five. It's going to be very empty in mine, by the way. I have, I have no characters. Feel, feels bad. Question number five. Can I interact with the furnishings in Serenity Teapot? Can I recover HP? I might have seen a lot of exquisite furniture, furnishings. But Paimon doesn't think that uh, Paimon can interact with any of them. The dev team is still working on the interactions. Let's leave the HP recovery to the Statue of the Seven. Okay, so no HP recovery, no interaction just yet. But it's not like a uh, a no. Question number six: Can I make? Can I custom make my own furnishings? Oh shit! In the current version, there are over two hundred that you can place. In the future versions, types and styles of furnishings will continue to be added. Paimon will pass on your request. Custom furnishing. That's kind of that reminds me of like uh, Maple Story Two, right? And I don't I don't know if Animal Crossing had that where you can make custom fur custom furniture because i know that you could do that with clothing but animal Cro or, or maple story too i think you could have custom ones yeah that's interesting that's cool 200 over 200 and then and then uh pass on the request for custom some custom possibly in the future that's cool and i send my furnishings as gifts to my friends it says paimon will let the dev team know about your request although at present you cannot send furnishing requests travelers can visit their friends realms or you can invite uh, your friends to yours. And that was all. During the weekends, Teapot Traveling Salesman will bring unique furnishings to every traveler. Wait a minute. Go visit your friend's realm. Maybe you can exchange for any some new furnishings. That reminds me of Animal Crossing, right? Every now and then, I forgot what day it was. You can go and buy unique items that are not sold normally. Wait a minute. The Serena Teapot system you'll experience in version 1.5 is just the beginning. Many functions and content uh, they're not available yet. We do understand that there's a gap between the current version and your expectations in terms of building, placing, interaction. We're working on them. Yeah, terraforming, win, hello, question mark. The dev team is further optimizing the guidance and user friendliness of the system. Meanwhile, we're also developing more gameplays such as gardening and fishing. I'm pretty sure they want to do fishing and gardening, right? 
or chess, my bad. Fishing and chess for the Serena Teapot. The brand new system, separated from the world, exploration, combats, or stages, we hope to bring travelers a more free and leisurely way of gameplay and provide you with a new unique space during your journey in Teyvat, which completely belongs to you alone. True. Um. After that, you can give feedback, yada, yada, yada. Very, very important mind is optimized. Okay. That was interesting. So every, like, every weekend, there's going to be, like, a traveling salesman that, sell, that sells unique items. And it'll be different, I suppose, to different worlds. Kind of like how a Liban event is, where I get a Dendro box and I have to go to a friend's world to get the Cryo box or something. So definitely a good way to... <laughs> friends, what are friends? Oh, no. Definitely a good time to, like, go ask other people, I suppose, what kind of furniture they have if you want to collect them all. But that definitely... I know that MiHoYo is probably going to do, like... You think they do, like, seasonal stuff? I think Arknights did that. They did seasonal furniture when, like, Halloween came out and Christmas and stuff like that, I think. So I don't know if MiHoYo would end up doing that as well, and we can buy seasonal furniture. You know that they're going to be pushing that furniture whenever new events come out now. And we saw some of the new events for 1.5. They had, like exclusive um furniture that you can only get via the event you know they're gonna they're gonna take advantage of that every new event that comes out now they're gonna include a little piece of furniture right there so you can collect it for your house here's a new you know, serena teapot feature and camp out in the wilds they decided to give us a serena as a realm within i could probably skip Trinket some of the stuff them. keith you sound so cool so it's a gadget and it looks like you're gonna have to make multiple of these well, let's take a closer look inside this so-called teapot because whenever he used for the starters, item, we saw two that he had. There different realm layouts for us to choose from. Floating Abode, Emerald Peak, and Cool Isle. Three wow, so this is what the Adept layouts. Consider just I'm going to go for the Floating Abode, probably. <laughs> Inside the realm, you'll find Tubby, a teapot spirit who manages oh, look at all him. the general affairs in the realm within. Tubby. Oh, just like a butler. Oh my gosh. Great furnishing, Realm Depot, Switch Realm Style. So round and, cute. and then your Trust Rank, which is max, so 10. And it plays an important role in our realm, too. When we raise its trust rank, it will give us some rewards and unlock new features for our realm. For example, the three different realm layouts will have to increase our trust rank if we want to unlock them all. There's also, I'm pretty okay, sure there's also so presets question. as well. If I rub Tubby, will it grant me three wishes? Because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can Tubby save does. loadouts and uh, load. <laughs> so I saw a, I saw a, wasn't there like a load button at the top? We'll see in a minute. All the furniture, iron ore, white iron chunks, the creation queue, which you can only have five going at a time. Creation time, 16 hours. I don't know if that's right. Is that, you think that's right? You think it'll actually take 16 hours to craft something? Because I'm pretty sure the blacksmith also said uh, in one of the screenshots that we saw that it would also take like 20 hours for the blacksmith. But that didn't happen. And I, I don't know if that was in like enclosed beta test or whatever. I think it'll be like minutes or something. Can take and then here's the um, customization. And can fill it with the things they like to make it feel like home. Standard of home. Load. Pipes, 200 total. Too high. And that's wrong, Beak. We have decoration, small furnishing, large. Ornaments, wall, decor, animals, indoor Oz. set. <laughs> the load is like preset, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> Parties. And, and world level doesn't even matter for this. So you can end up. Anyone can join your well, world. World level doesn't sure matter. Wait, does it? No, it doesn't matter. Right here, Travelers, world level four, Any right? Decoration ideas. He's going to go to his friends list. Enter our friends realms for some inspiration. World level we can eight. Stop by for a visit and snap some Request nice to join the Serena Ooh, Teapot. That means we can throw parties. It doesn't matter when you're going, uh, That'll be so fun. going to check out their house. Are you going to put me on your ultra exclusive guest list, Zach? <laughs> Which is nice. Nope. I'm roughing it in the wild to luxurious house parties. Yeah, we can create views outside Courtyard, the animal, the main buildings. And, furnishings. and as we put more furnishings into the Serena teapot, our adeptal energy increases, enabling the realm to produce... Outdoor set, landform, landscape. It's more realm currency. So more furnishings increase adeptal energy. I like the sound of that. We can exchange realm currency for a variety of materials and... So there it is. We have the realm treasures, furnishings, furnishing blueprints, and we have the transient resin, which they, they talked about. And then we also have the sanctifying essence, which apparently upgrades our artifacts. I'm assuming it's just XP, artifact XP in a bottle. 
and that's it. And the transient resin is supposed to be just like the resin, but it expires. So you want to make use of that and, and use it before time runs out. And it also says items refresh in two days, six hours, and 56 minutes, which means you get to keep stocking up on this stuff. Pog, right? Maybe I don't have to actually start farming my daily artifacts every single every single day, and I can just stock up on sanctifying essence. That's pretty the cool. Rewards. And sometimes a teapot weekly, once per week. Salesman carrying realm treasures might appear. So be sure to check it out. Noted. More resources. Look, I'll take it. There's already a lot on everyone's to-do list for this feature. This one right here. So you you increase your adeptal energy, and you'll accumulate more realm currency over time. Starting with zero at bare, bare bones, you only get four. And I don't know what the max is. It looks like twenty thousand to get thirty out of or thirty per hour. So all you have to do is just put down, down some random stuff in your house to get that adeptal energy. And it tells you how much each one gives when, when placing it. That kind of reminds me of, what was that one game? I think it, there was that one game where it needed to, you to, I think it was, I think it was Arknights. I'm um, like comparing it to Arknights because I remember there was another game where I had to put down furniture that also had a requirement, like you have to put down at least like seven pieces of furniture and I just put down some random stuff just to hit the requirement just so I can benefit from the room bonus. I think that might have been Arc Knights, but yeah, I'll be doing that. I'm not good at decorating. I'll probably just throw down some random, I'll put like five tables in one room and that's it, you know? <laughs> I'm not the best when it comes to decorating and organizing. Oh man. I'm excited, man. And they're going to keep expanding on this, too. I'm, like, so excited because this is just the beginning. Imagine they bring mini games to this, like I was saying. They bring mini games to this. You can do hide and seek in your own world. You can do the tower defense or whatever. You can activate the game mode there. So imagine, like, a bunch of mini games in this world that you can just do. Hide and seek, chess, fishing with your friends, activate other, other, other mini games that we loved, like the tower defense. You know? Uh, the the Wonderland, the Peculiar Wonderland uh, event. I'm excited for what the future has for this housing system, for sure. All right, and that was basically everything important shown off for the Serena teapot that we have so far. Uh, if you look at this image right here, down at the bottom, it says that you can acquire 30 realm currency every hour. So if we're talking about over the course of 24 hours, one day, you can accumulate... 720 per hour and to get that currency up to 20,000 for the adeptal energy these furnitures on the map give different amount on the bottom left so some of the houses give like 60 some of the furniture inside give like 300 450 or something like that but you need this realm currency for the realm treasures the shop which i think is a weekly reset because if we're looking down in the bottom left it says, or at the bottom of the screen, it says two days, six hours, and 56 minutes minutes until the shop refreshes. So I'm assuming it might be a week. Hopefully it's a little bit longer because I ended up, I did the math on the whole entire shop. To buy out the entire shop, you need 12,500 realm currency. And at the moment, going off of the data that I saw on uh, on the live stream, um, getting 30 per hour is 720 a day, which is 5,040 a week. So you're only getting 5,040 realm currency a week, which technically means you can't buy out everything from the shop. At the very least, you can get like the transient resin, which seems worth it, and the sanctifying essence, uh, both of those, which will cost or equal up to, I think, 4,800 um, realm currency total. And then you can worry about the Hero's Whip, Mystic Enhancement Order, uh, the more and the frab Fabric after. But those are definitely the ones that I would grab. Transient Resin and the other sanctifying uh, the Artifact XP. That's what it looks like. But hopefully it's more than a week. But if it is a week, then we're going to kind of have to pick and choose every week on what we want. Let me know what you guys think about the new housing system down below. I'd be more than happy to read your thoughts on this. And for any of you guys who have made it to the end of the video and you are not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Apparently 64% of you guys are not subscribed, and I have a bunch of other Genshin Impact videos planned, whether it be guide videos, build videos, um, character summoning, or hell, even just jumping off a cliff with Hu Tao. You know, I have a lot of uh, future content videos, and I'm excited to share that with all of you guys. 
So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.